Oh hey, welcome! We've been to the Goodwill bins today. That's what all these goodies on the table here in front of us are. Now stick around to the end of the video and you can check out everything that we got. But keep in mind while you watch this video that everything that we buy is potentially for sale. So consider coming by our live auction tonight over on Whatnot. There's a link below where you can download that if you haven't already. Get your first $10 free. Come hang out with us tonight, 7 p.m. Central. But in the meantime, Goodwill bins. Stick around. We're in Clarksville, Indiana today at the Goodwill Bins. We were driven here today in this yellow Tindo mobile by our friend Christian. Follow this guy on Instagram right here and stick around to see what we find. What are you shopping for today? Um, 90s toys, vintage toys, stuff like that. You? Close. Close? I'm gonna buy something weird. You already know it. <laughs> stick around. but I need a, some adult ones. Yeah, there's a, there's a kid's football helmet over there too. I need some adult football helmets bad. That man. Some what? Oh, medals? I thought you said pedals. Ooh, there's some old VHS. That's awesome. I'm gonna grab that. Love some Fraggle Rock. That was every single bin. I went through every bin. First pass. We got already. I bet you Hannah sees this. She's gonna want to sew that onto the back of a yeah. denim jacket. <laughs> yeah. Do you want it? No. no okay. No, I'll, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my stuff in it. We'll get it for sure if you don't want it. First find goes to Christian. I kind of have been tasked with the challenge of finding a bunch of very iconic clothing pieces for Dallas's brother's YouTube channel where they do all the crazy stunts. Whoa! I found a pair of overalls. Let's see if they'll fit Dallas. He's gonna be the challenge one. He is large. 44? Honestly, a little too snug, probably because Phoenix Bins never had very many shoes. And I just can't wait to look at it all. Oh my God, look at these. Size. I mean, they definitely look like kids size, so I'm probably not gonna get them, but they are really beautiful. I'm gonna think about it. Oh, we have a mud baby girl. Maybe. See if we can find her partner. I love the shape of those. Got another half over there to look, but not feeling too hopeful on the mud baby.
Oh, those are bot. So polite. <laughs> oh, I found this. I thought you might like it. Man, I should have came in quicker. I just thought of you when I saw it. Oh, that's I do. Awesome. Yeah, I, need, I know somebody who needs them. I found this and don't really know what to do with it. Is that an apron? It's an apron. Oh, what do you know what to do with it? That's mine. Okay, you I'm keep a, it. I'm going to sew some scissor pockets, some screwdriver pockets. <laughs> you think I'm joking too? No, I know you're serious. Dead serious. <laughs> Bro. I thought it was like a jacket or something you picked it up. No, I wish it was a jacket, but I'm glad you're happy. Bro, it's green denim. I don't know if this is going to be bigger. Oh, it's just Oh, not. you got this. My nips hanging out? No, but it only covers your belly. <laughs> I got a real case of side nips. Hey, avert your eyes. <laughs> That's awesome. It's big, too. Let's go into the shop. Dibs. I'm not even going to put it in your bag. I'm going to put it in my Looney Tunes bag. This is clearly really long. Somebody must have dumped like their Looney Tunes collection because this is Maybe. denim also. Yeah. It's black denim. Is it 90s? Yeah. The apron was 90s. But the zipper's broken. Rip. There's no strap. But if I had, had a strap, it's almost a Ben's bag on its own. Yeah. It's a good one to like shove t-shirts in. Yeah. We go home. We go home eat. Well, you came through on your promise. You bought something weird. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's gonna be big enough for me, but I know somebody. <laughs> See, now with, with like that and some serious elbow pads, I'll go down those stairs. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dive, dive, dive. What is this? Artwork, I guess. I literally watched that last night. Fanny pack. What you got, VHS? I thought he was a goose. Turns yeah. out he's a chicken. <laughs> That's awesome. All I found is a squishy little kitty. Yeah. These are giant rolls of paper. You think they'll fit in your jeans? I don't know about that long. I think they might be just a little bit too long. Even like yeah. set them between us up on the dash. There's two of them. <laughs> yeah. Either. Do you either have a uh, uh, tape measure or would you trust me to step outside and see if this will fit in my car before I buy it? I trust you. Okay, I'll just step yeah, right yeah. out and come right back. I'm just gonna hold it up beside it. No way this is fitting in there. Not even close. Yeah, not even close, look. That's where it'd be sitting. It's a foot too long. We could Oh, it's rough. The absolute irony that this would not fit in his Jeep is that we always get so excited when other people want to go to the bins so we can use them for their bigger car. Irony is, though, I could have got this home in a smart car with ease. <laughs> so dumb. Let's see what you got. Sonic. Luke. Oh, oh, is the game in there? Yep. Oh, yeah, that's money. <laughs> you make some money on that one. So this roll of paper is green screen green. Which is crazy. The things I could do with that. This is white and I still want it, but I think that's too long to fit in this car. I'm getting this green paper if it kills me. Hey, where's your cart? Make a little space. It's green paper. 
Interesting. And there's an even bigger one over there that's white, but I'm pretty sure it won't fit in the Jeep. Oh, really? <laughs> oh yeah. Go. Good luck with that. You have spotted some vintage sleepwear. I mean, I just bought out an entire estate sale of vintage sleepwear. Why not have some more, right? Little slip skirt. Ooh. Dead stock. Two dollars. Holy cannoli. I don't think that that would be two dollars if it was on our shelves. Some little blue, cute. Little gremlins cut of fabric. We'll go ahead and get that. I'll probably make a little pair of shorts out of it or something. That'd be cute. Little ball of light stuff going in the cart. There are some stunning vintage in this bin. I can't believe this. Look at these. Vintage 1970s Levi's. Oh, they're stunning. Okay, before we go crazy, whenever people want Levi's, they typically want the like classic 501 style and that's it. Like it's kind of hard to sell different style Levi's. But to the right buyer, someone's gonna come along and, and need these for their collection. So we will get them and we will home them until someone decides to home them themselves. So in the cart. I'm like, look at this. Oh, cashmere coat with what I'm guessing is rabbit fur. Typically, coats are made out of rabbit fur, but I don't know. I'm not too educated on different types of fur. I don't see the tag in here that tells me what type of fur it is. She's still really beautiful. I hate to see vintage furs go to waste. I really do. Because if they decided to go ahead and kill the animal, we might as well not throw it in a dumpster. I need this fringe. I just need the fringe. I don't really need the top. Just, I can do fun things with this. I just found this boot in the middle of the clothes, which means someone already picked it up, has carried it around for hours and cannot find its mate, which means I'm not gonna find its mate either, which is very depressing because they are vintage Doc Martens. Let's just uh, mourn this loss for a minute. I'm still gonna carry it around until we leave. Bet me I won't. Oh, yeah. Honestly, there's there probably is a way it fit in there at an angle, but <laughs> we'll talk to you from the back. <laughs> I guess we're going. We're going in cab. Diagonal front seat down. Hannah over here. Me over there. High fives. Grown man high fives. <laughs> That was the short one. Yeah, that way we ain't gotta mess with all the strapping and such. You feel all right about that? Yeah, I'm coming out. I'm gonna be all comfortable. Yeah, we'll be all right. She's, she's... <laughs> I'm, I'm a lot better with that than the rigs. For sure. <laughs> the hey, I like the rigs personally, but it is awful pretty yellow Jeep. Yeah. I really thought that you guys were gonna see something special today with me strapping that to the roof, but it ain't gonna happen. We're just riding in the back. Oh, I really want this Barbie Jeep. I want it. You might even say I need it. Hannah, I want it. I need, I know I need it. But Hannah, I need it. I, I, you saw what happened to the last one. We need to replace it. But you broke the last one. You're gonna break this one. I don't want to break that one in even more spectacular fashion. I wanted to paint the last one yellow, but I didn't, so it would still look like a Barbie Jeep. I'll paint that one yellow and then wreck it. It's your money. It's your problem. What? 900 likes on this video. I'll roll that thing down a hill. Hannah says I can't get the Jeep because we have to have room for her clothes. I say, I say, me rolling down the hill in the Jeep is way better than some old jeans. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. I can probably fit them in the back seat with me, but you know. I forgot about these too. There's a, they're all yours. I bought giant rolls of paper 
and shin guards. Baseball catcher, catcher guards. I don't know what they're called. Oh, yeah, catcher. Catcher pads. <laughs> All right. Oh. oh yeah, hold those up. These are for you, Nathan. I'm child locked in this Jeep. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Thank you, chauffeur. Yep, yep. Last time, God, look how, uh, I can't believe that's a Jeep. <laughs> Last time we were here in Clarksville, we went to this chicken place. We're back again, third trip in a row. This is where we're eating lunch. Highly recommended. Joella's hot chicken. Your first time here, Christian? Yeah. I'm trying the barbecue sauce this time. I haven't had it yet. Uh, Hannah got same, same. Christian got the coleslaw. We're gonna be all right. What sauce did you get? Jojo's favorite. What is it? Jojo's favorite. All right, we're going somewhere we haven't been yet. We're at a Salvation Army, which you said is just a few blocks down from the biz. Yeah, it's just real close. That's crazy. Never been to this Salvation Army. It's way bigger than either Goodwill here, so fingers crossed. Actually, funny enough, it looks about as big as the bins. Turbo. 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 Are those all the same game? They got donated by five below. Yeah. Uh, I think that's judging knowing this now. Yeah. I mean, it's really just that. But... Five bucks. Oh, okay, yeah. How much is on that one? Five. That's kind of the problem. Yeah, I know. Like about all these. If I, I like, were... if there's like three. Right. On some of these. If I were in Phoenix right now and they were all two dollars, I'd have bought them all. Yeah. That's exactly. what happened a lot in Phoenix. That's how I got a lot of my games. But we fit. Yep. Saints Row is okay. Yeah. No, I don't know right now. See, it's the same thing with yeah, those, but are these all five bucks? Yeah, they're all five bucks. I ain't paying five for any of them. This is probably the closest. I'm definitely going to end up having to come here more often. This place is way bigger than Goodwill Benz. We're in a whole back warehouse I didn't even know was attached to this building. And there's just crazy electronics, building materials. There's raw Cat5 or 6 cable. I just assume it's all Cat5, but I guess there are other kinds. What did you find? So well, I was I, I just bought some bubble wrap. I was gonna wait and pay for yours, but now I'm glad I didn't. That's a lot. <laughs> I'll get this. I got some mason jars. I got some sketcher shoes. That's awesome. I got something I can clean some vegetables out of the garden with. Look at all that bubble wrap. Oh wow, that's a lot. That's awesome. Christian, look at what I just bought. Yeah. <laughs> look at all that bubble wrap. <laughs> yeah, Thank you very much. Yeah. Last stop before we head home the goodwill that's across the street from the bins and then it's over we ain't got much room left in the jeep the bag toys can be pretty good here i think christian found a thanos toy he found me a football helmet which i'm gonna buy 10 bucks it's cheap i'm gonna paint it i'm gonna paint it for a different use all right what'd you find show us Ooh, June that's cool. Thanos. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get this. The guy I needed to fit, I called him. I said, how big is your head? He said, it's not very big. I was like, youth large? Probably. <laughs> so we're gonna get it. I've never been a youth large. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ever, same. What'd you get? Some vintage sunglasses. Like, I don't know. I might keep these. I'm into it. Pretty dope. Hannah, tell me why you have bought no less than three of these old wooden ladders recently. So, short story, whenever my parent, my grandparents passed away, um, my sister ended up getting my grandfather's ladders. And I did not know I needed those in my life until I went to her house and she had them all like beautifully displayed in her house. And I was like, oh my God, that looks so cool. And she's like, get yeah, their grandpa's ladders. I'm like, I need some. So what, she like put flowers on them or? She makes quilts. So a lot of them she has as her like quilt hangers, which are really beautiful. So what are you gonna put on them? Plants. <laughs> I'll allow it. There's two more of them sitting on our porch right now, bigger than that one. That small one is cool. I did climb on it to paint something briefly yesterday. It was a bad idea, but I didn't break it. Okay, uh, here's a bag full of your goodies. Go ahead and show some of your stuff off. So my most exciting piece I got was this. I got two of these pairs of vintage 1970s workman Levi's. Um, I've seen this style Levi before, but I've never seen it with the tags in it. So it's really cool to finally put my eyes on it and understand why these are different than your typical Levi's. They're really beautiful light wash. This is a helmet that I've already painted and I need to make this one look just like it. So that's why I bought the football helmet today. I need one more, one more to fit my big head. <laughs> 
that'll be a bit of a challenge. I ended up getting three full bags of vintage clothes this, this trip. So some of the highlights, this little uh, green windbreaker raincoat, which we might end up needing tonight because I think it's gonna rain tonight. Oh, <laughs> I hope it doesn't, but it's already so humid around here. This is more of the same with that helmet for my little brother. He basically said, hey, grab anything sporting related for me to use on my channel. He's a very athletic dude. I have no idea what he'll do with these, but he'll figure something out. What else did you get? I'm so excited about this baby. How many times have I told you, I cannot believe I sold that fringe jacket that fit me, and now I have one, and I'm not selling this one. That was for you? Okay. <laughs> I don't even know what else I got. It's been several days since we shot what you just watched. More sporting stuff. I don't think there's anything to talk about there. Oh, I did forget all about that. So we've actually already been working really hard on next week's episode. It's going to be a good one. Make sure your subscribe notifications are on because you're going to want to check that video. But I've already needed this for the last two days worth of work and forgot that I had it. So I thought about it the other day, but I was painting, so I didn't want to get paint all sure. over it. <laughs> well, you talk about your next thing. I'm going to hang it up. So another really cool thing that I got were um, these pairs, this little pair of shoes. I did see that this one was broken and they needed new laces. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a experiment on this one with some shoe repair because these are some vintage, no boundaries, Skechers style shoes, which are really hard to pass up. That is a copy of Fraggle Rock on the VHS. I, Jim Henson, love it. Uh, also, I've had like 10 different people request Muppets and that kind of stuff on our whatnot. So maybe I'll put a stack of them up for sale or give them away. Give a lot of stuff a lot like that away over on whatnot. This was pretty cool. Uh, Christian found that and immediately handed it to me. And I think it, it needs to be just a Goodwill Benz bag. You just need to. Yeah. <laughs> these kind of like hip side bags are perfect for the bins because you're digging and putting stuff in. That's, it's a very um, t-shirt guy bag. Yeah, it, sure. might, it might actually get used. All right, tell us what else you got. Oh my gosh. Um, so. If you know anything about me, I have a very hard time buying belts for myself. <laughs> I just, for some reason, don't get them. And um, I bought a belt today for me so that I can finally be an adult and wear a belt. <laughs> I bought at, not the bins, but the regular store, two, this is, there's like three boxes here full of this stuff. Now, typically the pink stuff is like anti-static. I'll have to test to make sure, but at any rate, it's just a crap ton of bubble wrap for not a lot of money. So I went ahead and bought it. I, and I, I'm happy with that purchase because there's never enough shipping supplies around here. A like case in point, I buy a lot of the same like 50 cent boxes. I buy them like a hundred at a time because uh, we ship out a lot of stuff, but still, I still don't have enough at the end of the day sometimes. And uh, I grab boxes like these at the bins. So that's pretty good. Anything else worth mentioning? Um, I feel like some people are going to wonder what the heck this thing is. So I got this, um, I've been doing a lot of gardening this season for the first time. And I thought this might be a wonderful vegetable cleaner because it's got these little porous holes in the bottom and, um, uh, it's very vintagey. I, I feel like it was probably a lampshade at some point, a very industrial style one, but I feel like this is definitely going to be a good vegetable strainer. This is a giant box of paper. Of course, I got two of them. I forget now, we looked them up. They're off of Amazon. The big one I think was $90 and this little one was $60. I, I know I didn't bring home anything crazy for resale. A lot of people were usually interested in seeing that kind of stuff. I mean, obviously you did. Every piece of clothing you brought home will be sold, but man, is this stuff useful to me. And man, do I not want to pay full price. So basically $10 a box is what I got it for. That's how I got out of there with it. It was marked 20. Uh, not really mad about it. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to use it for a lot of stuff around here. Matter of fact, it might open up a can of worms. I might have to actually pay full price and get a few more boxes, but guys, that's it. Comment below. Let us know your favorite thing that we brought home today. Uh, what's your favorite thing that you brought home? My ladder. <laughs> I'm going to go with the paper. Um, I guess hit the subscribe button and, uh, turn those notifications on. You're going to want to come back for next week's video. It's unused. I didn't even realize that. Ooh, fancy. You're going to want to see next week's video, I promise. Uh, but in the meantime, tonight, as of posting this video, 7 p.m. Central, pretty please.
come hang out with us over on whatnot. Matter of fact, right now, prior to coming and visiting us on whatnot, you can click the link below where I have the stream scheduled and go ahead and not only check out what I have listed, but you can actually put pre-vids on it if there's something there you want to see and use those links below to go do that. And until next time, guys, peace out. Sunday, 7 p.m. on whatnot, I am auctioning off some rare DS games, some uncommon PS1 games. I'm auctioning off some comics. Never done that before on whatnot. I've got some pops over here. I've got boxes full of video games that we're giving away. Make sure you're here on Sunday, 7 p.m. Central. We'll see you there.